Welcome back again to Joe Stunner Boxing. How you doing? I hope you enjoy your weekend. Um, on the undercard of the Joe Joyce uh, Christian Hammer fight, there was a ten rounder between um, Mark Chamberlain um, and Mark Vidal, a Spanish kid, came in with a. I think it was thirteen wins, two defeats, and five draws. A lot of draws. Uh, never been stopped. And this was for the IBF European belt, some sort of trinket which no one should pay much attention to. It gets you ranked, I suppose. But what we don't want is this young prospect, Mark Chamberlain, taking hold of that belt, getting ranked by the IBF, and then jumping in too deep, like Anthony Yard did, and you know a few other people have done. You don't fast track these young prospects because Mark Chamberlain's only twenty three, and this was a good twelve round, uh, ten rounder. Good 10 rounds of, of experience against 33-year-old Mark Vidal. Vidal is a former EBU champ. That's the real European title. And um, Chamberlain won every round. He almost stopped him in the first round, or at the very least, he almost floored him because he was at his back to the ropes. And Vidal, who is one of those, you know, I'm offended if you don't hit me fighters, was storming forward and Chamberlain landed a good left hook, which really shook Vidal. Vidal had never been stopped before. Even when he lost his belt to Kiko Martinez, his EBU belt, it wasn't stopped. It was 12 rounds. So this guy's used to doing long distances against, you know, pretty good, good opposition. Not a great record, but Kiko's a handful for anyone. He fought Kiko twice. The first one was a technical draw over three. Then the rematch, he lost on points. So Chamberlain, he had to be on his game with this young guy, with this, this uh, opponent. Chamberlain's young, like I say, 23, 10 years the junior of um, Vidal. Didn't put a foot wrong, nearly had him on the floor in the first, like I say. But Vidal survived, and Vidal, from then on in, I mean, I think I gave him one round, maybe the second or third, second I think it was. But Chamberlain was making it a bit more difficult than it needed to be, because he was moving forward. He was much the taller man, but he was moving forward, leaning forward and fighting small. He wasn't using his height, his reach. He wasn't really boxing. He seemed to want to have a little punch up with Vidal. Um, and OK, you know, he was getting the better of Vidal, but maybe hurting him so badly in the first round gave Chamberlain the, the, the idea that he could just, you know, wipe him out with one or two punches. Vidal's a tough, tough guy. He gets hit so much. It's disturbing how much he gets hit. But in fairness to him, um, he hung on in there. Uh, it wasn't until about the eighth or ninth round that Chamberlain really got back to his boxing and concentrated on using the long levers, controlling the distance, and then just picking off um, Vidal. Vidal, if he had a chance, despite his, you know, I'll get hit twice, hit you three times tactics, early on he should have started by going to Chamberlain's body, that long, thin torso. Um, easier said than done, of course, you've got to get in close without getting stung. Um, but there's no way he was ever going to outbox Chamberlain. And he was being outfought, to be honest with you, for most of those rounds. But this is an invaluable 10 rounds for Chamberlain. And as I've said before in videos, I like young British prospects to go through the area level, maybe the English level or whatever, the Welsh Celtic level, whatever. National level, British if you're British, European, proper European, EBU and then onto the world. And for a guy with Chamberlain, he's only 23. He's got all the time in the world, you know. But he improves to 11-0. 11 um, still very inexperienced. That 10 rounds probably did more experience in his previous 10 fights. Because a lot of his, his uh, fights, I think three or four of his last six finished in the first round. Uh, he's, had, he's had a lot of first round knockouts, including one over Jordan Ellison, the journeyman. And Jordan Ellison don't normally get stopped. Never mind stop that quick. So there is some pop to Chamberlain's punches. He's only 23. He'll get his man strength, go into the, the weight. Um, this was a lightweight fight, by the way. Um, should have mentioned that at the start. Um, but yeah, Southpaw, by the way, as well, uh, Chamberlain. Good fighter, good young prospect, but a lot of work to do. Because apart from this fight, probably the most noticeable name on his record was uh, Jeff Afori who's a reasonable domestic level fighter, but Chamberlain needs to be brought along correctly. This was great 10 rounds, though, against a very, very tough Spanish guy. Uh, but we'll see where he goes from here. Mark Chamberlain. Um, yeah, 
from Portsmouth, big following, South Coast. Uh, yeah, you know, good luck to the kid. Anyway, did you see the fight? Uh, let me know your comments below if you've got any and uh, we'll speak again sometime thank you for watching this video I always appreciate your time hit the like button if you could helps the channel out and more importantly hit the subscribe button takes you a second just pop the subscribe button we've got lots of great videos for you to watch and again thank you for your time we'll speak again soon bye for now